What, Alex? Uh, earlier today, man, those storms just rolled in. It was quite a mm -hmm. surprise. I was telling you earlier, the skies get dark and everything. And I was yeah. like, what in the world was going on? Then an hour later, people could go out to the pool. They could yep. barbecue. It was like nothing ever happened. Typical yep. Georgia weather. Yes, welcome to summer in central Georgia. <laughs> that is the story. You have these thunderstorms that pack quite a punch throughout the afternoon, but then it clears on out and makes way for a beautiful night like we're having right now. So taking a look down at the Georgia National Fairgrounds, the site of a busy past two days for House and County graduations. I believe all of those are in the books now, so congratulations to all you graduates. Hopefully the weather did clear on out for the end of your ceremonies today. I know it was quite of a messy start. Looking down at the temperature, Sure. Still not seeing anything. So our Perry Airport uh, numbers are bugging a little bit. Let's see if we can give it a little knock. Nope. Okay, so nothing there right there. We need to change the batteries or something, as Ben has been saying. Uh, not really getting our temperatures reported there. But I imagine feeling pretty similar to the 72 that you see in Warner Robins in northern Houston County and 70s all across central Georgia, with the exception of Eastman at 68 down there in Dodge County. But the dew points are really the story. A lot of dark, swampy green that is making temperatures feel a couple degrees warmer than they actually are. And if you're not in the 70s, you're somewhere in the upper 60s and still having an influence on that temperature. So we did see some showers in our northwestern counties up here around Monroe County over into Pike and Lamar counties. Those have fizzled on out and now we got some cloud cover to our southwest, but otherwise all quiet across central Georgia, which is a very good sign. But when we take a look over to the west, tornado watches, tornado warnings all over the Midwest. Once again, just another story of what has really been an eventful past couple of weeks across the Midwest and the southern plains. So taking a look at our rainfall totals, locally heavy amounts associated with some of those thunderstorms did see a lot along I-16 in Lawrence County, upwards to about maybe two inches in there and then areas in the blue, maybe about an inch and then areas further down in those light blues and kind of the clearer blues that you're seeing uh, those areas below an inch in rainfall. So for tomorrow, going to show you our storm outlook. Nowhere really except for maybe some uh, northern counties here in central Georgia clipping a level one. So not really looking at much of a risk tomorrow, but then once we take it to Monday, that is when all of central Georgia is in another level one threat. So let's play it out on future view and let's see what is going on with it as we take it to tomorrow morning, starting out tomorrow a little bit cloudier somewhere in the upper 60s, low 70s, and then maybe some afternoon showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, mainly for our northern counties, according to this latest run. But the graph has not been doing a very good job of uh, initializing all these rain chances that we are having uh, associated with uh, these kind of summertime systems now that we get into the heat. So 10 a.m. on Monday, starting out relatively clear, but then here comes another line of storms all across central Georgia sometime in the late after or the early afternoon hours into the evening, and that going to continue to persist even after that initial line of rain all through Memorial Day and hopefully keep us a little bit on the cooler side, but temperatures still going to get rather warm before that. But the big story for tomorrow is going to be the temperatures. It is going to be rather hot out. Those dew points combined with the low 90s temperatures somewhere in the mid to upper 90s for feels like temperatures. It is definitely going to be a warm one, but when you take a look at after Memorial Day, the seven day shaping up pretty nice, very summer like a few 90s and then we drop back down into the mid 80s, upper 80s for the remainder of the week, but trending mostly dry Tuesday on into Saturday, but tomorrow it is going to be sizzling and speaking of sizzling, Connor, I bet the bacon are back in town.